<clears throat> it's difficult to say how this is going to work. So Good evening, Drax. Good evening, Drax. All right. Jack, oh, can you yeah. hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Now I got to check out okay. if we can hear each other on the stream. One, two, three, one, two. Can no. you hear each other? One, two, All three, right. one, 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 two. All right, can you hear me? Yeah, it's perfect, mate. Yeah, wax, wax. So we are more than better than we're supposed to be. That's perfect. <clears throat> yeah, I tried signing up for the new update, and it just wouldn't let me select the USA. It's apparently not available for the US right now. That is strange. Well, still, it's better for Very. us because the Discord works, so it's even much more better than I hoped for. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Let's say good evening, everyone. CPL action season six, week thirteen. Explain versus Grom uh, for your uh, English commentary tonight. Uh, Dragpel and Alpha from Leon Enlightened. It looks like Grom is picking their tank. We see X and Emil. Interesting. Yeah, I really wonder what is Grom, um, what Grom prepared tonight for us after last week. Also, Xpain had a break, so probably they could do something. The week we got a Scorpion here. Oh, we're waiting for setup, and they are ready. Let's roll out. Interesting so, choice to take a Scorpion. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I wonder what what kind of tactics they got. X Pain usually has some pretty good tactics. I like watching how they play. Yeah, and they have strong clan. Um, we can, uh, Grom started to um, pick up all together, so they are better and better. This is gonna be interesting. And they already play on that map, just not uh, with uh, limited visibility. So let's check um, uh, what do they have tonight. X Pain and Hami or Scorpion. Um, Alvaro is a WZ-102, Dreamfort IS-3, Barrica, C-2, Francis, C-25, Kimi, 1, Junek, Defender, Reoni, C-32, Setra, B, front left, Paris, to left, Graba, AMS, and 449. It's like pretty much standard stuff. Alvaro on WZ, I think he's gonna make a massive difference with uh, addition to stuff. The interesting thing will be to see where X Pain sets up, because it looks like looks like Grom is coming as a group, and if X Pain puts up, that'll be interesting. <laughs> I'm interested in uh, what the hell is going on. Looks like he's going to the spot somewhere very very high. I wonder if he's simply trying to get the spot and see the bees. They're going to have to hurry to get it over to Hope. Seems like he's checking the Let's 
Yep, ground figured out. They just stayed behind and they're gonna close Chrome from both sides. Uh, I'm surprised that Chrome didn't realize that they're on the tank and they will soon have Alfaro Riza on their back. Yo. They didn't push soon enough. Yeah, this is they it. They can still turn around. And this is it. Now they, they realize it's happened. Now they are still ready to open up. No. They have a mistake here. They lost the bar. Uh, although Francisco has been uh, the sorted, so it's uh, already one point for them. But it's late. It's late and uh, Scorpion is uh, here uh, doing some damage. You can see the blood. This is a good for them. They are late. They Quick enough to sort that out, and now they are closed from all sides. Four Yo. If Strong had. That's very interesting. If Strong had figured it out, that there were only three things. Junic Whiskey strategy from X Pain because just pushed five. Running under the fire from two sides, he can't move. Now he's been dragged, he's only Marius Worthy hiding here, bouncing some shots but getting a lot of damage. Uh, one point for Gron, seems like nothing changed. Ronin tries to go after an Amiro but no, no luck. Now Alvaro Iza is here and uh, this is gonna be really difficult. He's going after Marius, yeah, Marius thought that Ronin for one, maybe two hits. Uh, is Ronin going to hit that Scorpion or not? Uh, no, no chance. No, no, no chance. Uh, that's it. One point for Grom. Uh, they definitely didn't realize what's going on and they were there to wait. Yeah, definitely. Well, it looks like it happened. They didn't figure out the. There were three of them over there until much too late. I'm not exactly sure. At least they scored a point. I mean, if they manage a perfect defense, they would win. Switch them sides. Yeah. Maybe Grom can manage a perfect defense. Maybe yes. Maybe they can. If they will manage to do the perfect defense, they still win. Yep. That is their best chance of winning is to manage a perfect defense, which. That could be easy. Oh. Someone from oh. Spain just left. That makes it a little more interesting. Still got 50 seconds. Oh, that's going to be... It's going to make it a little bit more difficult for x -Pain. Oh, he made it back in. Can he get it picked in time? Yeah, he did. Okay, so there. So that, uh, I believe that he just picked the wrong tank, and instead of changing, going back to the gas to switch the tank, he left the room. Smart. Oh, because he, there's it, no there's no punishment if you pick the wrong tank, so you can just go straight back to the garage and the tank will disappear. You know, so still got you got still got sixty seconds uh, to pick up the tank since the moment. Uh, yeah, that would have been switched. Yeah, so you got another time and. 
you know, it takes more time to get out, get back, then get to the garage, and just switch the garage back. Uh, okay, let's check them. Uh, Rostet, Grom, Junek, Defender, Ronny, T32, Sebza, 50, TV Pro Type, Marius, Hotel F, and the Graba, MX, and M449, so uh, absolutely nothing uh, new here, no changes. Uh, this um, setup didn't work in the first round, maybe it will work on defense. Uh, while well, explain this for the ISP, you know, T32, A Proto, France, so even one, Alvaro, Isaac, Arnabon, and Fabica, having uh, a hero, AMX, and 449. So they definitely got uh, some kind of uh, different uh, attack, so the attack. And as you can see, uh, the spawn they got is uh, wide split all over the map. Yeah, as you can see for um, uh, the x plane they were spawned all over the map. Uh, while Grom was in a that great situation that they could um, uh, gather uh, together much more quicker, they, on, the, on the attack phase they could um, uh, get into the uh, offensive uh, position much more quicker and they didn't use that chance. The interesting thing is that x pain chose to go with a T32A Proto. It, I, it's an interesting choice. To be sure, I wouldn't have picked that auto loader, but... I think it's very good to load that if it's used properly. If they got a tactic for the tank, it, it, it's great because yeah. it's got only three, you know, it's got only three shots. Uh, so the reload times between the uh, full clip uh, are shorter than the tank that got five or six shots, you know what I mean? So it's, yeah. really, it's really important. So you can uh, finish off the tank much more quicker. Alvaro is a spotted grab as well. So I should fire no damage. This important game to drop. If they were able to sustain uh, perfect defense, they still got over 50 minutes. If they were able to sustain the perfect defense, that's definitely gonna pay it off because that's the win. Even with the one point, that's the win, that's three big points, and this is really important for them. If no, uh, that's uh, uh, a really shame because they had that chance. They were just too slow. Too slow. Something to bear in mind. Uh, just from our previous map, I know for the rocket, for if x Payne put one or two tanks behind that rock, Grom won't be able to defend the cap. They will have to come out. They are going to get the steps up and run in crossfire in a few seconds. Yeah, but you will look at x Payne is yeah, Marius making them focus. They, 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 they pick up the Marius, that's interesting. Yeah, x two tanks are just waiting. Oh, and here they go around behind. x definitely likes to circle around behind people. I can't believe it. I can't believe what's going on here. Papika, Interesting you choice. Papika nearly finished already, uh, uh, Alvaro as well. Wow, well played. If Marius Wotte will be able, if they will be able to hold Marius Wotte on focus, that they do, they need to destroy. Yeah, oh, Marius okay. done, yeah. Juno should go straight on in the front to cover him and he made a mistake here. And that's it, that's at least the tie for x Um Now the info the, from behind on the Graba and the road. Oh, what a lot of shots that was missed here from uh, Grom. And then Hami on the left to a photo. He's on reload and uh, yeah, so uh, now the link for the giant to finish. Yeah, finish the there is the win. Yep, yeah, that's the win. Two points for uh, x Payne. Yeah, the link for turning away. Uh, Alvaro is actually sorted. Uh, there's only Francisco and the link for the day going for a grab. Grab by the fight on two sides. Jack now Francisco is gonna take the hit. Grab is trying to hide. He managed. Uh, Eron is here. Junek, Junek, uh, 1100 HP. Slow with what he's doing, I don't know. No copy here. Grab assorted three points for x already. There's only running left. Junek a running bones that shot from the inboard. Junek shooting from so far away in the fender, which is a tank that's so pretty. Look at that. Put 1100 not, HP. 1100 not, not HP. Strong point. Not the strong point. And that's it. They're all sorted. Four points for x I can't believe it. This was, this was an interesting strategy from x pain 
with Njamio going straight at them, I would have thought Njamio would go to tap, hide behind the rock, Grom come out from behind cover, and then they would have been able to take more shots without taking as much damage, but clearly it has worked out for x -Pain. I really don't know why, why Junex stayed with Defender, the, the most, uh, uh, you know, uh, the most armored tank, in the very best, in the very far out of the map, I, I don't think that, really. Yeah, I mean, he did, he did have a lot of damage, but like you said, the accuracy, 12 shots, yeah, 8 12 shots, hits, yeah, 5, eight five, five but that's what I said, yeah, and you know, that, that uh, armor, he took only 2 shots, you know what I mean? From which one he bought. Yeah. He's supposed to took ten shots and bought eight of it. You know what I mean? That's what his was the part of the tank. Wow. That's, well, that's what why you pick up the defender, but it's not something that happened. Very uh, good Ronin accuracy seven, from uh, Francisco. Yeah, look at look at Ronin. Seven shots. Uh, uh, he got seven shots and um, yeah, bones too. So it's like uh, the, the the shots that were on the other tanks that supposed to be bones and picked by defender. They weren't because defender was hidden. Uh, and yeah, Francisco in uh, Emil one. Uh, 2500, uh, 2100, uh, Dream Fortnite 3, uh, and Hamiot couldn't uh, do a good job on T32 A Proto. Still, uh, looks like he did what he's supposed to. One clip went full. Um, Carnarvon Alvaro couldn't, Alvaro lots of missed shots as well, and Babika couldn't do much because he was nicely focused uh, by Grom, but still. In that case, that's 4-1 for x for Xpain, and x -Pain is taking the win. Yeah, they absolutely got the win. We're going to sort out a set for, for the next game, and next game uh, will be BWP versus Brutal. That's an important game for Brutal, big. If I'm not mistaken, in the last couple of weeks, Brutal has faced some stronger teams and they are, it may not be struggling, but they are losing some points. They need to be able to keep points here at the end of the season because there are going to be a lot of teams that are going to be looking to jump them. Oh, yeah, I agree with that. I will say I had no pro. I don't really mind the tank choices that Grom made. I don't think they were necessarily bad tanks. I think it was more an issue of how the tanks were played and where they oh, were yeah, played. Yeah. That, and that's what I agree as well. Yeah, there was no issue with the pickups uh, with the with the tanks. The, the choice. Uh, the issue was how they were played. Um, it's <laughs> not the best idea to play the most armored tank that's supposed to bouncing shot after a shot from the very far behind with, with <laughs> accuracy that absolute crap in that case, you know. Yeah, it is one of the least accurate tier 8 tanks that I would play in any kind of a tournament setup. It's, I think maybe the Turtle and the TANK are less accurate, but I mean... That's very few. It felt like they were missing like some kind of you know warm up, yeah. Because clearly they they played better on the second round, but that was not enough uh, against Spain. So Spain pretty much did what they supposed to do, and we've got well, it was yeah, it was smart by Spain because what they did they used their three tanks to preoccupy Grom, and Grom moved to those three tanks, and then Inhamio and the uh, and Gene Ford showed up. Yeah. And so, Grom was trading, but as soon as Inhamio and Gene Ford made their move, Grom just couldn't handle the crossfire. That's something I've definitely seen from x paint firsthand, and in all of their other matches. They really like to circle around. They like to do the unexpected. And they won. And they won. They did well. Yep. Uh, and they, they did. Th they worked well for that one, so 
can say anything about that. That's uh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's like um, the winner is the one who's doing less mistakes. Yep. And you make the, less mistakes, it usually works out pretty well. You know, it looks yeah. like Brew is still a person short. Hopefully, they can show up. This is a tough game for them, five versus five, even tougher if it's five, five versus four. I would not want to try to take on BWP a person less than them. That would not oh, be... Oh, yeah, that, that, that definitely wouldn't work well. No. But still, they've got two minutes. Oh, yes, they do. Yeah, it may be, you know, a connection issue or someone is still in the random battle. <laughs> yeah, I, I never understood playing random battles this close before the match. I know people like to warm up and everything, but it's too risky. What if you pick the wrong tank for your random battle? Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. This, the, this, it's like the more the more you are into comp, you more realize there are some things that you are not doing in the game just before the match. Yeah, I typically our team is out of any random battles, and we're sitting in the party waiting about fifteen minutes before the match. But so the, that game that just 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 uh, happened um, uh, put X Pain team on a second place in the league already. Yeah, Kaija doesn't play this week, so they were able to uh, pass Kaija. Yeah, they were able, but they got they got the same amount of points. Um, uh, X Pain uh, and, uh, Kaija, which already are changing the Kaija the Kaija with the first time, they will be now known as International Power. Uh, they are rebranding their team. Uh, still, they got like okay. the same, same amount of uh, points. Uh, um, them, uh, one DP and X Pain, uh, all of them got 33 big points. And this is it. Uh, we've got time, so I'm gonna switch us. Unfortunate for Brew. Oh, yes, this is unfortunate for them. Uh, we can't do anything about that. Uh, but no. the small points, uh, X Pain has uh, got a quite good advance. Uh, over other clans. Yes, there's a big jump between second, third, and fourth place. A six-point difference. Looks like we have a random person that decided to try to join CPL Season 6. <laughs> Join us on Twitch, uh, uh, chat with us on Twitch. Hello, uh, guys. Hello uh, all, to all our viewers that are watching us live. Mm, uh, seems like uh, we won't be seeing the fifth player from Brew on the first round, at least on the first round of uh, CPL. Uh, that's a, a really bad situation for Brew. Uh, I highly uh, doubt that this is going to work in any favor. No matter how good they will be, BWP is still a leader, and now they are playing 5v4, so... Yeah, that's going to be quite difficult. Hard to defend one person down. But... Maybe Let's they can see. manage something. Maybe they will. Yeah, maybe they will manage to pull this out. BWP v brutal. The brutal playing one down. Uh, that's a uh, uh, really uh, unfortunate for them. Uh, BWP full strong. Zeziku ISP Mario T32 Houtenaki 53 prototype. Uh, Abby left black Majon KMX M4 Fortnite. Um, and the bro playing one down. Yazi. Uh, Vierge, Wiesełka, Obiekt, 252, Tinsu, Tiffer, 2 and Fabian uh, in the Nomad. Uh, that's a uh, uh, really difficult situation for the group. They beat those points uh, really bad and uh, now they are in the crap. They need to destroy everything that was the hope for a first time. If they want to win, they need to destroy two tanks that do not allow the enemy to do anything. Because uh, when they will be fighting before, they are uh, automatically uh, from, uh, from the start. 
Yeah, I think if I had my choice, I would rather be attacking with one less tank than defending. Because even when we've practiced with one less tank, defending with one less tank is almost impossible because the other team just needs five players to push all at once and you're done. But at least attacking, you can still get damage, you can still manage to maybe work the foot. It definitely requires a lot more focus. If they don't get their fifth player when they're defending, that's going to be the trick because they have to assume that PWP is going to manage to kill quite a few of them if they're a man down. Interesting strategy. Look at the FP yeah, and the Yeah, but, but we have to argue that the LP got a much change because um, they do not have Dr. Manhattan anymore and the team is playing a new uh, player, uh, like J6. Uh, in I3, we'll see how he is uh, performing in that time. He would say now that maybe um, uh, important change for them as uh, Dr. Nahato was a core player for a long time and he was really experienced in well playing um, uh, addition to the team. And, uh, as far as we know, he was uh, removed officially because of his attitude and PWP do not like uh, to be seen as a team with the toxic bias in so they are doing whatever they can to be oh damage on Abby that's it two shots on Abby where he misses a shot is a chance Abby Jack now where he's got a chance oh that's it where he wow uh, nice one uh, but now a uh, focus on uh, Fabian Nomad one point for Brook, he still got chance, uh, we talk about some massive damage, since he's saying whatever he can uh, do. Uh, well, they got three tanks here, uh, it's difficult for them. Fabian in the road and he's taking too much, um, too much risk in Nomad. Yeah, too much risk, you have to support, you not have HP, don't do that way. Uh, one point for Interesting, two. yeah, there he still hasn't been spotted, they have, they know basically where he is but they don't know for sure so they've managed to hide the RP quite well I mean, that's too much of a risk yeah but all the uh, they, 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 they are they, they can see that they are not taking damage so uh, clearly they uh, realize uh, that this is a good uh, position for all them tanks because we he can't do much uh, Brew cannot push because they don't have tanks with that. Fabian uh, got more damage in the Nomad and uh, that's it! That was a massive mistake! That was an unnecessary risk uh, and uh, that unnecessary risk uh, was taken into uh, I think the account the by nomad Mario was Mario firing... and that Nomad. I think well. the Nomad was firing HP. I saw him do 4 damage and then 110 damage to the T32. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what he was doing. He was doing. He was, he was, uh, he was shooting with high explosive because uh, Mario was like in a specific position so he couldn't uh, do any damage because everything he tried to do was bouncing from the turret so that was um, uh, uh, a good idea but check this out here he is just here he is just here he's sneaked from behind and he's just here uh, is he gonna be a game changer? no great focus uh, from Altameki and Majelonka um, from that uh, on main team and Vierhi got most massive amount of damage on him and Mario is coming up to him. Vierhi nice damage by Zonka, wow. but uh, Mario is coming up to him and Vierhi is in the position. Uh, Vizelka has thought that this will keep up to his pushing. It's not gonna change much. There is no focus here. Uh, so I think that uh, Zizu is trying to get his equals, but there is too much uh, uh, fire on him. Who's gonna run away? Yes, you made it! That's the point! Well played! Uh, well played to but that is not enough uh, to get uh, more. Still two points. That's nice. Two points. Well managed. I'd say that's fairly well done, considering you're playing with one last person. But you'd ha it has to be said that two points is not going to beat BWP. And again, I think uh, that's what was not used properly uh, was uh, object two five to you. Uh, 
aka defender the two versions of the same tank and as we can see uh no penetrations this tank got no accuracy and uh shooting from afar doesn't work in that tank it needs time mm, uh, so that accuracy get in the perfect spot well played cbwp let's check the room very well time. played has to be said though not really surprised that it's well played by bwp they have proven to be very well prepared for their matches yeah but, but this is and this is a really unfortunate situation because we couldn't see the brew in their full potential because they got only four tires yeah yeah definitely not the week that i would have chosen to try to play with four players Well, I never want to play with four players. <laughs> I believe nobody wants to. The if big challenge. To. Yeah, exactly, if they don't have to. Yeah, but uh, playing uh, against four players, that, gay, that thing, uh, gives PWP um, a one uh, point straight on, uh, so that... Um, Two to one from the start. All they need is one kill to draw, two kills. Yeah, exactly. One kill for a draw for tie, and uh, two kills if they want to win. And playing against four tanks, it's nothing extraordinary to be achieved. Uh, it's fairly. Simple, right at this point, it's five together. Focus, fire, and the P we can see uh, been Primo Victoria Majonka to me just because I have three uh, Mario two and how the next people type so yep PWP is strong going strong uh, two uh, great meetings uh, on the run here uh, so they uh, they feel strong they feel comfy uh, they feel confident uh, in what they are doing and I'm sure we're gonna see them be in the right uh, running here and as wish too much to happy and I will try to I think he was I wonder if he was Running around over here, he may have gotten lost, but I think, yeah, he got lost. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. maybe he was looking for the Yazi. Yeah, that's what I thought in the first second, but but it's kind of uh, <laughs> of driving and the way he made... moved and he got lost. Yeah, which is very surprising to see from a team like BWP. Typically, they know the map better than that. Tried to get from behind, he got lost. Uh, <laughs> uh, decided to go uh, on that side instead of looking for the <laughs> for the proper place to go. Yeah. So, uh, went for a short. I don't think they need to worry Inter anything about this. It got only few minutes, two minutes. To t that now they took two minutes to them um, to get to see how to make it. So that is important. Uh, Mario as well. Uh, Majonka is getting on a in a position. And no, um, uh, group players are well covered with good position, so Majonka is getting closer. Uh, oh, uh, they still haven't spotted the atomic. Yeah. He's oh my closer and closer. No damage on yet. Yeah. And this is gonna be a mistake by Majonka. Check this out. Check this out. Yeah, yeah, I would Yeah, but, but nice job here. 
Fabian didn't realize what happened and he shot the, 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 the shot went into the ground. So uh, nice one. That was more likely to in that situation. But uh, uh, the accuracy of that uh, tank uh, did a job. Now this is how Majonka is coming from behind and it's gonna be uh, a pain for Blue. Yeah, now yeah, it's gonna be a pain. Yeah, this is where he got damage on the heap from Majelonka. Uh, that's what's gonna happen here. Fabian, I don't understand what is Fabian doing. <clears throat> he went into the very middle of the map. Oh, why? Why? Wow, okay. 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 <laughs> let's let's play the shoot. Oh, oh. uh, Bjerki tried to... Um, and that's uh, the win for BWP. Yeah, that's what he's doing. That's already 2-1. Um, that's already 3-1, so uh, it's not going to change much. I, I don't know what's happened up there and why the, the, the why is she going to decide to do like that. Uh, I defend against Hatoneki and now Mario and Edison. I wonder if Fabian just. That's it. That's it. No fire extinguisher. I wonder if Fabian thought that since behind him he just decided to push forward, but you would have thought that him and the Yazi would have been able to just attack the atomic together and yeah. maybe get rid of the atomic better to go after one tank than just go into the middle and face everybody i know your armor is strong but usually one on four doesn't work too well of course uh, you know i'm as strong as long as you are in the proper position uh, but not when you are going to the middle and getting shots from every single side yeah that's Atomic did the no. damage on BWP, but nothing extraordinary here. Uh, Armor is that good? Now, if you sidescape in that tank, uh, make sure that the two are in the proper position. Yeah, you can do that, but not in the middle when you're getting shot from side, from back, and from the front. So, with all your weak spots. Uh, wild in the open. Yeah, I mean, even if you side scrape, if there are enough tanks. Oh no, we 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 staying on L. Uh, I see you left the room. We staying on L. You yeah. From different, you can't side scrape. Eventually, uh, one of them. Alpha, we are staying here. On that server. Is gonna... He was fine where he was. Yes, I didn't wait. No. Yeah. Yeah, I looked at the schedule ahead of time. I didn't wait. TNT Vinoka. No. Important match for both. TNT. A lot closer to Brew and the top of the board with the win. No cap can get closer to the rest of the board as well, including no cap with a win would jump Leone and Light. And yeah, this is interesting. What's gonna happen here? I'm I'm really curious about what the both teams prepared. But yeah, we're staying on the EU server. We're not switching to the NA. Now from this week, uh, every week. Is on a single server, so like this week so on EU, next week all the games are played on an A, and so on and so on. Yeah, Willy is here already. All right, let's see. What? What did? My system just kicked me out of the room, apparently. Okay. Did you make a change to the room? Uh, nope. Oh, it kicked kicked me out for some reason. I had to. I have to go back to the loading screen, but I'll be right back. All right, no worries. All right.
Does the See, technology uh, think TNT must win that? I'm sure Nocap is uh, starving for a win as well. Yeah. I know all of the matches from this point forward are very important for yeah, everybody. crucial. For most of the teams, they will be crucial how they will end up, yeah? Yeah. So, this is like, wow. Um, after that game... Uh, <laughs> Uh, BWP holding strong leadership, 40 points, 7 points in front of every other team that's behind them. That's a massive leadership here. So BWP, uh, a very, very in a great uh, uh, strong position, um, uh, but brutal after that game. Doesn't seem as well. They are already on uh, seventh position, so uh, they're just tiny little bit in front of TNT. If TNT is going to win that one, uh, they're kicking Brutal behind them, so one of the underdogs that were uh, on a strong uh, top position is getting um, farther and farther down uh, the lead, so it's interesting what's happening here. Brew, Brutal is definitely going to be facing... They are more than capable, as they've proven in the very beginning of the season, but Brutal... This week had to face a strong team. Their next match is against X Pain, and then they play one DP. So they've got some tough matches ahead. It's going to be interesting to see because there are a lot of teams that are within reach of each other, and everybody's going to be fighting for that spot. Oh, yeah, definitely. What's interesting, it's nearly time and there is no knock-up, so it seems like TNT is gonna be very, very lucky tonight. I'm gonna show up the matchup, so just for sure that we are here. So I'm switching here uh, to the proper setup. It's the time, so I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> with, our, with our rules, Switch admins give 60 seconds for the teams to pick up the tank. Maybe no cap is still gonna show. Maybe they got some serious something that they didn't even, you know, send any info or anything that they will no show up. And that's that's really unfortunate. That's not nice. And that's not good. And after this one, this may change a lot for uh, TNT. Put them on 27 points. Yep. They will clearly jump over Brutal. Uh, they will climb. Uh, they will climb over BWP too. So and maybe even uh, 1G. So this is like a like crucial game for them. They can do so much here, and probably they are gonna get that easy win now. Whether we like it or not, um, uh, No Cup did not appear tonight on the game. So uh, this game goes uh, for TNT. Uh, that's uh, five near uh, through for fate. That's unfortunate, a uh, double unfortunate because uh, Nokap did not give us um, uh, any heads up that they are not going to show up. That's uh, uh, very much by the team that's trying to play something uh, uh, more professional than just a simple random uh, battle for casual players. Yeah. It's unfortunate. So let's check. Uh, let's check how this is gonna put up uh, TNT in the scores uh, because we got some time, so we can uh, have a quick chat and uh, check the scores. Now I already updated. Uh, don't the update for the. League. So let's check that uh, places. BWP, uh, the leader of CPL, uh, after 13 weeks, 40 points, 7 points lead uh, uh, till the next teams. And on the second position, x team uh, with 33 points, third position, um, uh, um, uh, Prostoclan, KGA. Now they will be called as International Power, INTL, uh, with 33 points. Uh, on the fourth position, there is the... Uh, Black Devils of uh, First Panther Division uh, 1DP, 
33 points on fifth position. Uh, 1G for gold only with 27 points. Just behind them with 27 points. TNT thanks to game that uh, they just won by forfeit. Um, after uh, behind the TNT on the seventh position dropped uh, after tonight games. Uh, BWP2 uh, that's uh, born to be one party academy uh, and the brutal PL that lost tonight game uh, has been dropped down to the eighth position. So they are already eight. And, uh, PL with 22 points. That's four points uh, lost to the uh, brutal on ninth position. Leoni on 10th uh, with uh, 21 points. Uh, then um, uh, Grom on 11th uh, with 19. And no cup that didn't show up tonight. Uh, closing up the uh, table with 19 points. Wow. I'm surprised that uh, we couldn't see that game against Noka because it was crucial for them. Uh, I'm sure TNT Very was crucial. preparing um, for a long time for the game, so they want to win. They probably will see some nice stuff here. Uh, but we are not going to see anything uh, because Noka did not show up and TNT uh, gained a massive boost again by for fate. Uh, we have to. They supposed to uh, have some kind of uh, uh, tag in, in right, you know, in the, the, the instead of titans and tanks TNT tag, they supposed to change it for lucky or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I but... mean, TNT did also pick up a win against X in in the same way. I mean, a, a win is a win. I'll take. I would take three points regardless of how it happens. Yeah. So do I. Uh, and but like I said, they they're happy, happy. And this kind of win, this is really great because um, you know if you still win against the other team and it's like um, five uh, to four or five to three, let's say four to three or something, that's still the score that you are losing. But when you're winning by four by four feet, you're not losing anything. You know you got just clear five points, and this is a great situation uh, for a team that that um, uh, had that kind of situation. Uh, this is not uh, good to, with a knock-up. I will try to contact with them uh, and see uh, what happened and why they did not show up, why they didn't uh, um, give us any heads up. But this is it. Uh, we know already what kind of um, uh, um, uh, situation is in the league. Uh, the next uh, games played next week, next Saturday, same time. Uh, first game will be by x versus the Brutal. Uh, so this is another game that was going to be uh, really interesting. And uh, next week we are playing. Oh, this is strange. We're playing on EU. I don't know. I'm going to check this out. But yeah, we're playing on EU, the first game. And what's important, um, that that game will be played on a Comarin raid. So we're going to play in Comarin. What do you think about that map? Uh, not my favorite map. I'm actually rather glad that the team we were supposed to play on that map forfeited. Um, a very tricky map we couldn't really figure out necessarily how to attack it definitely favors teams that want to stay back and defend but i think it'll be interesting to see what teams come up with uh, i i kamarin is just yeah it's a very interesting idea there are a couple of different options but Again, I fully anticipate to see a lot of teams stay back behind the cap and defend yeah, from another, back there. There's another the thing that we need to absolutely use that um, uh, ban of the country because uh, teams that feel comfy uh, in a current spot, and we can clearly see there are some picks on tier 8, an example, that everyone is picking, you know what I mean? So it's like again one. Two, Absolutely. Four, yeah. So this is like something. This is why it happens in nearly every single escort game. Uh, there must be some stuff when the when the top players find out the me the meta because that's the meta. We let's say clearly there is kind of a meta in every single um, format you're doing, and they've try they've already found the meta and they're using that. I think. Uh, the best guys who knows the meta the best in this season already, and they found it. They found it uh, the first were BWP, and that's why they're leading. They already found that on a tier eight that form uh, two mediums, which are really great mediums, uh, which is Atomic and uh, Primo Vittoria, uh, playing together with uh, Free Habits, are doing outstanding job, and they they pick up the best two mediums from the meta, 
uh, from uh, two different countries, uh, which uh, clearly gave them uh, different uh, options for other countries to pick the uh, proper heavy tanks. And this is like they got the perfect meta to use, you know what I mean? So uh, now this is important to uh, adjust them uh, rules for, for the next season. Uh, so uh, this meta could be much more uh, wide, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, T- interesting, TNT is still in the room. I didn't. I don't know if they know that they've already been given the win. Oh uh, yeah, I already do. I, I already did the update on the uh, yeah <laughs> on the table. So yeah, they won. And there thank you very much for watching us. Thank you for joining. Um, uh, who joined? Uh, I wish we would um, uh, uh, see that game. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't. But TNT took the win. Um, I can see uh, that. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, that Sash is saying that they want five points and three, but they will take the win. Uh, you're getting five small scores, yeah, but three points are the uh, points for the win, one point for the tie, and um, yeah, no points for lose uh, from the big points, yeah, but you're still getting the five small scores. Uh, yeah, that's uh, how how it works. So, yeah, this gave you a massive uh, yeah. jump, massive boost that game. Uh, and this is it for tonight. Uh, that was CPL uh, week 13. Lucky for some, unlucky for others. <laughs> so definitely, there will be some teams that that that, that are upset, especially after the last game, uh, because that jump. Well, clearly, TNT didn't lost any small scores, so paying with the same amount of the uh, big points against uh, other teams made them jump higher because they were able to win without losing any small scores. So yeah, that's a perfect situation for them. Uh, Absolutely and, perfect, I agree. And the x pen is in a really good uh, shape. We can clearly see that. If BWP isn't going to win anything to the end of the um, CPL Season 6, there is a chance for different winner. But if they will win at least one game, clearly they already got that championship title for this season. They already got it, so I'm really interested how this is gonna work next week. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm really Whoa. curious. Interesting. So something to keep an eye on. I just noticed on the schedule, BWP only has one more game to play. Yeah, and they, the, and they need to the, win it if they want to uh, get themselves uh, a championship. If they win that game, they already got a championship. No matter the other well, teams. The amount of uh, no. games today. Yes. The int- the international claim. They have four games left. Yes. So, as they stand now, even if BWP wins, and international wins all four, international would catch up, because international is going to have a chance to get nine extra points, and they're only seven behind. BWP can still get caught. Mathematically, they could still get caught. Uh, yes, they could. Yeah, mathematically they could. But that's a, a, a challenge. That's a massive challenge, and definitely. Oh, it. It's not. It's not just like interesting. Even if BWP wins, they're not guaranteed top spot in the league. Nothing is safe yet. Yeah, but if we're gonna see something like uh, um, uh, international tying. The game, oh, yeah, or losing that's at some... least one, just that's it. They sorted, you know what I mean? Yep, yep, they are completely sorted. They can't do anything about it, no matter how hard they try. Uh, it's like <laughs> they just win, yeah, they just they just they just, they just got it. So, this is interesting. The situation, so BWP did work hard for what they done, and like I said, they were the first, uh, to find themselves, uh. That's meta in the game. So they were the yes. first to discover the perfect meta for that format, and that gave them advantage, well earned advantage, and well earned the position for that game. So yes, BWP will getting there. They are going for the championship. It's like explain. No matter how hard they will try, two games only. Yeah, if I'm right. Uh, let me check. But most probably, yeah. Let's check the x pain. They've got two matches left. Yeah, that's what I said. Two games left. 
So, uh, no matter how hard they try, no chance for a championship anymore. Not at all. Can still take second place, which is still yes, very th- good. Yes, yes, they, they can. Of course they can. Depends on how Depends on uh, how um, uh, 1DP and Prostokan are going to play that one. Uh, because they both got 33 points. And um, uh, let's say 1DP has got three more games to play. And like we talk, uh, while, 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 while we talk, International got uh, four more games to play. So uh, definitely International are going to play every single week to the very end of the, of the season. Uh, while other teams will have more or less uh, uh, free time to make sure they are sorted. So this is going to be really interesting, interesting what's going to happen here. And the another interesting thing just on the schedule, 1G is going to have a big say in, in all of this because 1G plays both. Oh, don't play. I thought they already, they hadn't played. 1G has a big say because they still play international. And they're trying to leap spots as well. So the x pain. Yeah, 1G yeah. is going to have a big say in all of this as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. They've got a big say in the positions of them teams and their self. But the biggest say, let's be clear, the most important will be the score of the game between BWP versus 1DP. Because that's the last game for BWP. If they will lose to 1DP, which is fighting for the second position, because that's the place they can get on. That may allow different team to get the first position, first of spot. But if 1DP will fall to BWP in that game, that will be a very, very uh, great situation for BWP. And now, uh, like we said, there will be a 1G fighting with International. That will be important, yeah. <laughs> very, very important. So, yeah, now, uh, team uh, leaders, team managers, sitting on the table, we cannot keep this up. Go for that, go for that team, go for that map. Come on, guys, come on, guys. <laughs> we need yeah, those absolutely. points, we need those points. There is no much time left, we need those points. <laughs> absolutely. I My team has already started preparing for our next match, even though we don't play next weekend again. We've already started preparing for our next matches. Because yeah. we need every single point possible. Oh yeah, this is it. because we are so uh, much close to the uh, end of the season. This is gonna be uh, uh, really interesting. How all these games are gonna happen? Because as we can see, one win and one lose can drop the team a few places now because the yeah. main, like um, uh, they are close to themselves. You know what I mean? So this looks like, yeah. it's like uh, of course, there is a massive difference between BWP, in example, uh, and uh, uh, between uh, Brutal, that's uh, 14 points, yeah, but on that level similar, like uh, Brutal, BWP, uh, uh, to TNT, to 1G, that's one point difference, and it's like, you know, that one win will jump you up free to the top, or someone else will go free to the top, you know what I mean, free places, that, that's that important. And uh, uh, Laoni still got three three games, so if you win all of three of them, it's like still you can get some reasonable position. That depends on you. So it's not like um, uh, you are in different situation here. You got twenty one uh, with thirty. This is still somewhere close to the proper position. Like you know, at this moment, with thirty would be on, on fifth position. So it's not bad. Depends how the other uh, games will. Uh, played and this is cut on a, in a, from knockup here. Uh, he's late, <laughs> uh, pretty much a lot <laughs> late. Um, I've got yeah. what happened here. Uh, and you're right, we do have three matches left, and it is going to be challenging. The good thing for us is that we play all, the teams we play, we have a chance to leap. So any matches that we win, we're are going to help us dramatically because we gain only on others, but the team we're facing as well. So 30 points is our goal. We'll see where 30 points gets us. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, yeah, 
the def- this the, this will this will really be um uh, you will be dependable on the outcomes of every single other game uh, from the teams that are above you already. <laughs> so yep. Oh yes, yes we we've already looked at the schedule. We know each week we've been looking at who we're rooting for and who we're not. But it it like I said, draws are always a good thing. We like draws at this point. Oh, lucky for uh, lucky for um, TNT, this one was five uh, near. Uh, seems like no cup. Uh, uh, maybe they misunderstood the time or something because we can see Katon in the room, but it's uh, way too late for them to play, unfortunately. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so uh, disappointment. Uh, uh, that's it, I think, for tonight. Uh, uh, we'll we have some time chatting. Uh, hopefully, we'll see some serious uh, great stuff next week. Yeah, I will check all the replay uh, for us and um, uh, check if there was some kind of special action. But I hadn't seen anything super like last week. Last week was pretty much um, uh, outstanding uh, with that pershing and uh, with T32. Nothing special this week, uh, to be honest. More uh, extraordinary mistakes, you know, than than uh, super. Uh, lucky action or something <laughs> like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, like that M449 in the middle, bang shot from every single side. I've got no idea what happened down there, really. So, like I said, the, the, lots of the mistakes, uh, m- massive mistakes. So the, I would say even fails, fails. <laughs> yeah, I would agree with that. I didn't really see anything that needed that was. Yeah, so like more, more, yeah, that, 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 that fail with M449 definitely is supposed to be highlighted, and I'm going to try to do that. I try to make the highlights from that and uh, send a separate <laughs> how to not play M449 in competitive. No, you're not going straight into the uh, center where you are surrounded by five tanks. <laughs> definitely, that's not something to do. Uh, but yeah, that, I think this, this, this is the, the most, uh, maybe it's uh, comical and then funny, but this is the thing that that uh, everyone's supposed to see that that shouldn't happen, you know. This is not the way you play, no matter the outcome and no matter your uh, situation. You can play 4v5 and you can do the perfect defense. We've already seen that um, happen uh, here in the CPL. So it's not like you got to just give up. If you show up, play to your strengths and strengths of your tank and show off your skills, you know. Especially, that there wasn't like a lost situation when that M4 went in the middle like a, like a potato, like a salad or whatever. <laughs> like a lemon. <lemming>. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it shouldn't happen. So, uh, I'm going to try to highlight that. Uh, depends on what kind of uh, recording we got that. And I'll try to uh, send it uh, separately to uh, YouTube. And then uh, uh, I will highlight that on Twitter. So this is it for now. Uh, thank you very much. That was uh, CPL Action Season 6, a week 13. Uh, uh, for you tonight, uh, commentary by Jack PL and Alpha Soft 85. Thank you very much, Alpha. It was uh, great to have you here. And, uh, just before I pleasure. The, it to, just before I finish the question, um, pardon that I'm um, uh, interrupt. Uh, can you tell everyone where they can find yourself? Absolutely, I'd be more than happy to. Uh, you can find our team website on the CPL website, which is attached to this Twitch feed. We are also on tw- uh, Twitter under my team name, which is Leone Enlightened. You can also find me personally, as well as all of my team members on Twitter, using our gamer tags as our handle, AlphaSuff85. And you can also follow us on Facebook, and we're in other groups as well. We encourage other teams to become more active in CPL, or if you're looking for just practice, reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to try to build the community. We want CPO to grow and not just stay the same. Yes, if you're looking for more comp, um, uh, you can uh, find CPL Esports underscore on Twitter, CPL Esports uh, dot Nova Associated dot com. That's our website. Uh, you can find us on Facebook as well. Uh, join our Discord. Uh, uh, you can uh, get all that. Uh, you can find every single stuff in a feed uh, of uh, CPL uh, Twitch, which is Twitch TV. Uh, like PL. the most uh, and the most accurate and the most uh, often uh, updates are on Twitter, and that uh, goes with uh, CPL. That goes with teams like Leoni or with TNT. If you still don't have Twitter and you do not have uh, um, experience with uh, starting that stuff. 
contact with us and we we'll help you to get through this process so you could join us and uh, grow a uh, com competitive community uh, on PS4. Thank you uh, again very much, Alpha, and uh, thank you, viewers. See you next week, same time, CPL. Look forward to it. Everybody have a good evening, good afternoon, and happy Father's Day tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Happy Father's Day.